The ADC Theatre has been home to many famous actors. It's a positive breeding pit for the stage. Today we meet Humphrey Binham. Acting is this man's life. So is this how you'd normally prepare before a show? Uh, yes. Um, Humphrey likes to have at least four and three quarter hours sleep a day. Before a show, that is. Um, so he'll not... Keep it down. Um, okay. So um, he'll normally get into the dressing room, have a glass of wine. Um, Chardonnay is his favourite. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm afraid. And, uh, and, and then he'll sleep precisely for... I mean, one time I, I let him sleep for four and a half hours and he wasn't very happy. <laughs> But um, no, he will sleep. Uh, he's got another tw 20 minutes left there. So. Okay, and then he'll just go straight onto stage or, or any uh, kind of he'll warm up? Do a warm up. He does about a two hour warm up. Um, very physical. Two! Um, sorry, quite physical. And then he'll, uh, he'll do a vocal warm up um, with his vocal coach. Right, so he gets into the theatre about six, six hours then before the show. Oh yes, well I mean Humphrey doesn't really leave the theatre. Humphrey likes to say an actor should not go to bed before one or get up before one. So he's very rarely sleeping in a bed. He likes to sleep in the theatre. What, what do you get out of kind of this job with Humphrey? How, how do you kind of feel about it? Well, well what does one get out of the world? You know, uh, I suppose if we were talking about intrinsic job value, Pam gets a stern leader, she gets somebody who pays her yes. financially. If we're talking about external job satisfaction, then uh, I, I suppose uh, sh she wears nice clothes sometimes, which is paid for by me. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, but you know, it, it's not a hard life. Okay, so Pam, do you ever think of leaving um, and working for someone else in, in a similar role? Or? Well, why um, leave a thriving business? That's what I would say. Time is of the essence. And, you know, we only live for, for you know, two, two, three hundred years. And, you know, we, we must remember that we must use that time as best we can, you know. And, and for me, it's all about the quickness, it's about efficiency. Pam, for instance, will take a list. If I, if I make a list now, she'll take a list. So I want one steel rod, 12 pink flamingos, a couple of white lilies, dyed green. Yep. I want red wine, iced. Uh, I want three men with bowler hats, and I want them all tilted at different angles. Uh, I'd like a small, small pair of jihadpas. Yes. <laughs> for a dog. Yes. That no. looks like a cat. Yes. You see? And she will do it for me. So show them the list, show them the list. Yes. <laughs> um that is the list. Right. One of the many difficulties of uh, the theatre is in construction. Uh, bringing things together, various tools are needed. Uh, timber, woods, materials are all needed for things like set, props, costume, you know, facial expression. Uh, we need all of these things to, uh, to aid us in theatre and uh, uh, we're going to have a look now at some of them uh, through to the workshop. It's a very dangerous area, I must say, so I must insist that Pam, my lovely assistant, uh, not come. Not come. But um, I, I will, if I need anything, I will shout Pam. Uh, oh, I can't get in, of course, because of the old actor's code, <laughs> which I'll stick in now. And uh, that should that should do it. What is it, Pam? Oh, I told you I knew it. <laughs> I can in the end. Do we have, to, just, we have to go. Just, so yeah. We have to go. Instead, Humphrey takes us along to the auditorium, a place he likes to call home. Before we go in here, that there are many precious things, and you mustn't touch anything when we go in. This is the Holy Grail. This is what England is about. This is what the world is about. Put that down, Pam. Yeah. England's about. And Holy Grail. Uh, Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Holy Grail. 
Uh, we're going to move our way now into the auditorium. No touching, all right? Okay, okay. sure. Two steps back, Pat. Right. I'll hold this to Thank you, Pam. Here we are. Uh, I, I think this auditorium was built around 1650. It's, it's an old one. It's an old boy. It's an old boy. Get that down. So perhaps it's best that we now move through to the stage itself. Through the door. Oh, oh, Brett. God. Oh, oh, Brett. oh, gosh, oh, 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 what I'm going to do for you now, I'm going to give you a little treat for all of those who haven't seen it, and for those of you who have seen this marvellous play I'm in, uh, then you'll just be able to enjoy it again. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to do a few scenes from the play, and Pam is going to read in the lines, she knows all the lines, and uh, she's going to read in some. So you'll see a few scenes, uh, and, and what we as actors try to do, which is to uh, learn the words of the playwright, uh, follow the director, and then steadily go through the motions on the night of the character. Okay? So, what, is that alright? I'll just go behind here and. Yes? Yes. And then we'll yeah. start straight away. Yeah. Okay. Alright? Pam, be ready. Yes. Ready. Ready. Oh, God! What a day! Yes? Hello? How was your day, dear? Who have you been sleeping with? You've been sleeping with my brother, haven't you? Uh, your brother? My brother! Your brother's in a wheelchair! <gasps> Do you like your dinner? It's just another scene. Damn it, woman! Damn it! That's just another scene uh, from the play. I think we've got about enough here. I don't give you too much. <laughs> so, perhaps uh, it's best if we move through to the bar. Uh, which is a very important part of the theatre. It is a part of the theatre where the audience must drink. Follow me. However, on the way to the bar, Humphrey takes a funny turn. Pam, come on! The storm, Pam! The storm! The storm, Pam! I must have the storm! So, when will you be getting the things that Humphrey's asked for on his list? No, I won't be getting anything on the list. He's a little ray of sunshine and the customers, they love him. We don't mind him at all. Don't recognise Humphrey. You wouldn't. Humphrey Benham has never seen an audience. Never risen a suggestive eyebrow, never gesticulated, never richly shagged a seamstress before a show. Simply put, Humphrey Binham has never done an act on the stage. This is David. He suffers from obsessive, compulsive theatrical psychosis. Pam is not his PA. Pamela is his carer. Tonight his name will not be up on lights, but instead on some doctor's chart. Donate and help us help the stage struck. Imagine uh, actions happened before, and of course, when we stop, we'll come after.